Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction coil magnet experiment a coil of 50 tons is connected to a galvanometer in a very simple way as we see a glass rod is inserted into the coil no deflection is observed similarly an iron rod is inserted into the coil no deflection is observed now a bar magnet is inserted into the coil deflection takes place north pole of the bar magnet is moved into the coil similarly south pole is moved into the coil observe the direction of deflection also observe the direction of deflection in the galvanometer when the bar magnet is removed the directions of deflection when the bar magnet is introduced and when the bar magnet is removed are exactly in opposite directions when the number of turns is doubled and with the same bar magnet experiment is conducted we observe that the magnitude of deflection increases more the number of turns more is the deflection insertion and removal of a powerful magnet into the coil attached to the galvanometer produces a large deflection the next experiment is coil coil experiment into the core of an electromagnet a coil attached to a galvanometer is inserted and removed we see a very small deflection in the galvanometer it is due to the strength of magnetic field produced by electromagnet is less relative motion is not a must for electromagnetic induction in the setup we see out of two coils one of the coils is connected to the power source the other coil is connected to a galvanometer when the power source is switched on and switched off we see an instantaneous momentary deflection in the galvanometer this demonstrates there need not be any relative motion between the two coils these experiments illustrate faraday's law of electromagnetic induction the magnitude of induced emf in a circuit is equal to the time rate of change of magnetic flux through the circuit induced emf in a circuit can be increased by increasing the number of turns of the coil 